Welcome to Anataura Mauritius. Cheers. Here we go. So this is our second hotel part of our Mauritian tour thanks to our friends at Bonfire Adventures. And if you're wondering why we look like this, well, just watch the last video, um, finish the boat tour, <laughs> had to get all the sunscreen A long off. day <laughs> under the sun, but now we have to show you this place because it's beautiful. It is beautiful. So we actually have one of the suites and we're going to start this boat tour with a little bit of Mauritian wine. I actually didn't realize they made wine. It's pretty good, pretty fruity. Let's come into the bathroom. We have a massive bathroom, beautiful tub, and then a shower in here, rainfall shower, double sink, toilet, closet. Sorry, we have some stuff in there. That's why I haven't opened it all up. Try, try to make it look very neat. Um, and then a space for your luggage. So then you come down here. We have our little mini bar area with great coffee, actually. King size bed. I love the decor above the bed too with a little bit of soft lighting. They surprised us with a couple little gifts, which I do love a good planner, so that's great. Um, and then over here, we have our working desk. As you can tell, David has already started working. We've been here for like an hour. He just, he can't stop. <laughs> And then a beautiful little seating area where honestly we sat there for about 15 minutes drinking a little bit of wine before we picked up the camera and it was glorious. And then outside here, we have a beautiful balcony out here and we are actually in a oceanfront suite as well, which is fantastic. They have garden suites as well. And yeah, lots of space. Sunrise, from what I understand, is this way. Oh my goodness, there is a beautiful full moon tonight. So pretty. So hopefully we're gonna catch sunrise tomorrow too. Can't wait to see that. Um, but now we need to at least look a little bit more put together to go to a restaurant because I'm hungry and we need some supper. earlier this is a nice nice hotel and the restaurant actually has like a dress code and for men we have to wear closed shoes but jokes on them because the only closed shoes I have I have a Mickey Mouse on them so for our first meal we're trying the restaurant called Horizon and it's a cool concept where it's not really a buffet but not really an a la carte it's like yeah. both so basically for your starters, you have your buffet and then you have like a la carte for your main and dessert, which I think is really good to okay, be honest. Okay, let's go get our appetizers. Yeah. We of course took a little bit of everything and a little bit of everything is very good. Very, very good. So I got the pad thai for supper and I was just wondering if they could add chicken to it. I said, no worries, if not, like I get it, I'll just eat the veg. So what they did is they actually brought the entire chicken meal out as a side. <laughs> so I get to taste both. <laughs> Somehow we ate three plates. This hotel at night is just stunning. Like, let me show you. just came back to a little surprise in our room. <laughs> As if we need more food, but <laughs> it looks delicious. So I'm gonna have a bite of this and then get ready for bed. Otherwise, like the supper was really good. Oh, like yeah. really, really good food. Yeah. I can't wait to eat some more tomorrow, three times at least. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna see you guys in the morning. Morning. 
And how did you sleep? Oh, fantastic. That bad. <laughs> That bad. I don't know if Mauritius has something to do with mattresses, but... Yeah. Comfiest beds are in Mauritius, plus the yes. sunrise this morning was really, really nice. A little early, but very nice. <laughs> Let's go for breakfast. So the hotel breakfast buffet is really good. There's a ton of options, like, and it's kind of fancy, like with all the waffles and stuff, you can make your own yogurt with like 22 different toppings and mm -hmm. everything. It's a, it's a good one. Plus like, I mean, this view is gonna be hard to beat. Oh yeah. So before we start all of our activities for the day, we wanna give you a quick resort tour. Um, so behind me is actually the entrance. We did a little bit of shooting last night with it and it is absolutely stunning at night as well. And they have a beautiful gift shop. And they even have a beautiful library. So just 100 meters from the front of the resort, they even have a massive beach front here. And if you turn around, the way that they have it built is actually that the natural plants and flowers hide the entire look of the resort. So they didn't take away from any of that and the resort still looks hidden. It's beautiful. So from the beachfront, if you're looking back at the resort, quick kind of overview. That's our room where we're staying on the corner. This here is the pool and then beside it is the Horizon restaurant, which that has like your buffet style. And then over here has more of their signature restaurant and that is called Sea Fire Salt, yes. <laughs> And they have a gorgeous spa ranging from double treatment rooms to singles and even a beauty salon section as well. With two beautiful looking tennis courts. I might have made myself a little dizzy. <laughs> what are you doing? That, that's, that's, what the, that's the noise that the professional are making all the time. Ah, ah, ah. So right across from the spa is actually the healthy corner. You have a gym there. There's quite a bit of people in there right now, so we're not gonna film. And then behind me is actually the vegan restaurant. They also have a beautiful bar, which we definitely will check out in a bit. But for right now, we're gonna chill by the pool. I don't know what it is with like the water and all the pools here, but they are a, a nice, refreshing chill. <laughs> it's also been tanning under the warm Mauritius sun for about an hour or so. So we decided to eat by the pool to maximize our time. Also didn't know we could, so that's part of it. It's really good. Now that the bellies are full, we're going on a little adventure. So when you stay at Anatara, there's actually a lot of free included activities. And one of them is actually snorkeling on a glass bottom boat. And that's what we're about to do. Time to get in the water. Okay, so the coral that we saw on the way in is actually dead coral, and we were all trying to figure out why it was dead. But it actually comes down to the amount of sunscreen that people are putting on their bodies getting in the water. In one single day, they can have up to 5,000 people in the ocean. So, with that, it's built up over time, and it's actually killed all of the coral. 
So I think it's super, you should be super mindful of what type of sunscreen you get. Um, I know there are some coral reef safe sunscreen, so maybe use that next time that you think we're getting in the water. Well, that was pretty fun, especially when you consider that it's included. Completely free. Yeah, and it's a perfect amount of time. You have an hour to swim around. Yeah, do it up. So we are all changed up and showered up from our snorkeling, and now we're going to do something a little different. Mauritius is actually well known for their rum. They have a big rum production and in I the didn't country. I know that, like until coming here. Yeah. So now we're going to the bar for a little rum tasting because yeah. we're adults. First one is a sweet one with mango. Mango. It is very sweet. It's not bad though. For straight rum, it's actually very like sweet yeah, like, no, because of the mango. It's just always the afterburn. Like, Normally really it's sure. like... Where this time was just... <coughs> so the next one is actually pineapple and uh, jalapeno. <laughs> mixed feelings. Yeah, me too. Smells mixed feelings too. Tastes mixed feelings too. <laughs> it's not bad. I actually like... But it's chilled and I like it chilled. Yeah, fair enough. So we put some ice in this one just to kind of cool it down. For me, first one better. I don't taste the jalapeno much. I almost think I prefer this one more. For the last one, which was the strong rum, we had to like drink it, swish it, swish it in our mouth like five times, and then swallow it. It gave me most of the tingles. Yeah, my tongue went numb. Um, Fun yeah. times though. I feel like we should bring a bottle home just to, just yeah. to have merch. It's actually yeah. like, you know, like I'm it's not a not big rum, fan though. of rum, yeah. but the rum is actually very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we've been here for a bit because they just brought out some food for us. Let's go to supper. So tonight we're having a dinner by design and every single uh, Ontara around the world has their own version of dinner by design. So because we're in Mauritius, we're gonna have something in the line of a Mauritian experience. And on the coast, so I think seafood something, yeah. I don't know. But this is the only hotel, the only Antara that's offering this specific dinner by design. So I'm very excited because you guys know we're foodies, so anything special about food is, is something we like. <laughs> yeah. So all we were told for our dinner reservation at 7 was meet at sea salt fire, sea fire salt, um, in the courtyard and we'll go from there. Well we show up to the courtyard and there's this absolutely gorgeous setup under the tree with lanterns and lights and he greets us and he's like, do you want a glass of sparkling wine? Yes please. It's so romantic. So the chef came and just explained to us the entire menu and brought us some little amuse-bouche with some uh, fresh octopus, which it looks very good. How many courses are we going to have, Tracy? Um, I think at least five. Without counting this one? Yep. Okay. It's going to be a culinary experience. I like those nights though. We're just super full by the end. <laughs> wow. Okay, so as per the name, Sea Fire and Salt, this is something, honestly, I didn't know was a thing. I'll be no, completely not honest. At all. Um, basically, paired with our meal, they bring out different types of salt and explain them all. Yeah, we have some salt from like Bolivia, Hawaii, the United States, a Cyprus. Like, it's just like, and all, like, if you look at all the different colors, it's just so fascinating to see that this is all salt, yeah. but they all have a little bit of a different flavor and definitely a different color. Yeah, so like, these ones are more for health benefit. That one's Bolivia. This one's smoked. Yeah, all apparently, is, these two are more salty yeah. than normal salt. So extra salt. So what I want to try is this one, this one, this one. This yeah, one. and these are smoked, like smoked salt. I know, I'm so intrigued. Yeah? That is the best salt I ever had in my life. This one is I'm from the United States, and the native people are actually 
cultivating the salt in their old in their own way but they're kind of burning not necessarily burning it but they're cooking it over fire and they make it super smoky this is delicious salt try that one that's so good who knew salt so weird that we're just art. eating salt <laughs> Okay, let's eat. <laughs> so I was wrong earlier. There's actually seven courses. This is our first. Um, the other one was just an amuse bush. Is that how I say it? Amuse bush. There yeah. we go. Okay. You're cute. <laughs> so we have a prawn with a Mauritian salsa, is what it is, with some olive paste. I think that's what they call it. Let's try it. I mean, the prawn's super good. Home. Mm. So good. Even the bread service was kind of fancy. We both took the same thing, which is like just a, garlic, so <laughs> a garlic butter bread. Let me just take a little... Oh, little I can bite. already tell. <laughs> already this tell. Is it. This is probably the best piece of bread I've ever had in my life. A little bit of uh, black olive tapenade. It's delicious. I feel like I don't belong. I was... That thought literally was just running through my head. I was like, the small town girl. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. Tracy and I, we just like watching YouTube videos and uh, eat taco bowls. <laughs> and here we are drinking a fancy wine. Mm. And eating a fancy bread with a ridiculous amount of salt and options. So we just got another plate and I love that every plate comes with a salt recommendation. For this one, they told us to go a little bit with a uh, smokiest flavor. So mm -hmm. a little bit of smoke salt. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we're having a lobster pan fried with unsalted milk, so some sort of crema or something like that. Pick your own salt. Yeah. And some, what's in the middle? A uh, palm. Palm tree tartare? Basically. Coconut tree tartare. Looks good. Yep. With the smoky salt though. Mm. Yes, please. Pretty good. Wow. Okay, and just so you guys know that we aren't joking, um, we've sat here and tried to figure out a better meal that we've had and like, Nobu has been in the conversation. Nobu is a meal we've paid in <laughs> Dubai, which was in Canadian about seven hundred dollars and this for me honestly is, is topping a little no bit better <laughs> yes wow so as a palate cleanser we have a lemon sorbet with just a dash of vodka okay so first bite of lobster is this a joke i could eat that every day These are just arrived. The smell is just. <laughs> it's the fanciest looking chocolate <sighs> I ever did have. Oh. oh. Hold on, I haven't got there yet. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> mm. Is this real? What is this? It's mm. basically berries and like very, very rich chocolate. Mm. The best chocolate. Wow, wow, wow. So, long story short, um, you need to do this experience if you come here. 100%. You will experience the best food you've ever had in your life. I think that sums it up. Mm. Yep. We can just end the video here. Done. All good. Yeah. We're doing a lot of stuff tomorrow. <laughs> amazing food. Absolutely probably amazing. Legit. Yeah, yeah. Camera or not, this was probably the best yeah. meal we've ever had. Agreed. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. All the courses. Amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. That was a lot of food, but what a delicious meal. I know I've said this 10,000 times through the, the entire video. The best meal I've ever had because it was Same. completely consistent throughout the courses. Every single course yeah. was just fantastic. Like the Amazing. prawn was the best prawn I ever had. The lobster was the best lobster I ever had. The yeah. bisque was the best bisque I ever had. It was just incredible. And like when we went at the end to see like the chef and all the team and everything yeah. like from the bottom of my heart <laughs> i swear to god this yeah. was the best meal ever agreed i agree you have to come check this place out now we're gonna go to bed because tomorrow we're going on a little adventure around mauritius yeah. to see a little bit more about this beautiful island 
So today we have a busy day because we're, we're going to explore a little bit more of Mauritius, which I'm very excited about. Uh, but before doing that, while we're eating breakfast, we thought we'd give you um, our, our thoughts about mm -hmm. this hotel. So here are kind of some like quick pointers that I would say. I wouldn't bring kids. It's not necessarily a kid-friendly place and they're actually phasing out the playground. Hands down, best food ever. So oh, yeah. Stunning. you won't be disappointed with food. And on top of that is there's, make sure you check out all of the free activities to kind of maximize what you get. There's yeah. a little bit for everyone. So yeah, I think that's kind of like the main thing. Oh, and it'd be a place for like couples and friends, friend yeah, groups. Definitely. So if you want to know a little bit more about this hotel and the different packages, make sure to check out Bonfire Adventures. Their link is going to be down below. And for now, we're going to finish breakfast and, and go explore Mauritius. Good morning. How are you? So today Jimmy is going to take us around to multiple uh, different places around Mauritius but the first stop is actually an Hindu temple and I was kind of shocked about it but 52% of people on the island are actually Hindus because back in the days when the Brits took over from the French they needed help with the sugarcane plantation and thousands of people from India came over to Mauritius uh, to do that and now generations later those people from Indian descent are still practicing the same religion. Yeah. So this first place that we're at is actually called the Sacred Lake. Um, it's on top of a mountain and the it's actually cool. The lake itself is a dead volcano. Yeah, this is a volcano. <laughs> and they're not allowed, it's considered like the holy water. So they're not allowed to fish in it or anything. And just even looking over the side, it's just yeah. Back in the days, they brought water from a sacred lake uh, in India yeah. and put it in this one, which now makes it sacred. Yeah. So behind me is Shiva, 108 feet tall. It took over five years to build. And the reason it's 108 feet tall is because he reincarnated himself 108 times. So we just did a quick stop on the side of the road. Those trees are actually pap papyrus trees. This is what was used back in the days by the Egyptians. And the first uh, map of the island was actually written on, on the bark of that tree. So we just arrived at the Black River Gorge and it is stunning, look at that. love a gift shop. Um, so anyways, there's a little market here and we need to find our shot glass. So we'll see if they have them. So we just arrived at La Romerie de Chamarelle, which is a rum distillery. It looks really, really nice. We're gonna do a little tour. We're gonna have lunch here as well. And yeah, I'm excited to learn a little bit more about rum and maybe have a, a shot or two. I got roses in my eyes. She's got a heart full of sunshine. Standing on your doorstep, black bow tie, your red dress. So the entire purpose of this massive machine behind me is to extract the sugarcane juice from the sugarcane, which is actually grown just behind the distillery. The good thing about having Jimmy with us is that we don't have to like be with a tour guide that has a lot of people and wait for people. We just have a private tour directly with him. He's the man. He's pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> So they have other types of rum, which are more like fancy and stuff, but that tasting, uh, you have to pay extra for it. And I, we don't appreciate rum enough to like justify to pay for that. But just to give you an idea, like those bottles of 10 year rum are 25,000 rupees, which is the equivalent of almost $800 Canadian. Now let's get some lunch. 
So here when you come and you do the tour, the menu is actually included for lunch. Um, he did mention that sometimes they go to the tea, tea, tea plantation and there's a beautiful restaurant there, but there's, if you're doing a full day, you're gonna have lunch somewhere. All the dessert come with their own shot of rum and I got the vanilla one because I got the creme brulee and Tracy got tiramisu meaning that she's getting a coffee liquor. Okay so this distillery tour I'm a fan even though like I don't really appreciate rum I like doing these kind of things like I think it's really yeah. fun and the food. But the distillery itself yeah the food is fantastic but the distillery itself is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Got a little garden. They really explain the process through, which yeah. is fantastic. So it's interesting, Definitely it's beautiful, it and the food is delicious. So I highly recommend. And if you get this exact tour, they'll make sure to bring you just before the crazy crowd that you just saw. Off to the next spot. Up next, Chamarel Waterfall. Better view from the top. There's 67 steps. We can do that. 65, 66, 67. Yeah, it's true. 67. It's a beautiful waterfall. Jimmy was talking to us about red pineapple and I was like, come on, like that, that's not a thing. And then we, were, we stopped on the side of the road and guess what? Red pineapples. Nobody eats them apparently because it's very sour and everything, but they use them for like medicine. But still, red pineapples are a thing. So behind me is the seven colored earth. And basically it's to do with the iron and aluminum. They repel each other and they create this phenomenon that you see all of these colors. So there's Sorry, I'm just gonna look behind you. Uh, there's red, brown, violet, green, blue, purple, and yellow. And this was caused by volcanic activities 3.5 million years ago, and fun fact, nothing can grow on this soil. I'm not really sure what the correlation is with the dirt and the volcanic activities and everything, but they have a bunch of tortoises too. I like them. Had to get some coffee. It's Mauritian coffee. Okay. And I really liked it. The hotels have it, so I had to bring some home. Okay, so just behind this island, not this one, but the one in the back, just before the big mountain, there is a, kind of an illusion. A, they call it like the uh, underwater waterfall. It's not really that, but from a certain altitude, you can actually see that it's kind of a waterfall. At least it looks like it. There's people like doing some airplane tours and everything every day to go there. So um, I don't want to pay for that, but we're going to send the drone over to see if we can actually see it. Sent the drone at 100% battery, came back at 10%. I was a little scared because it's really windy. That's why I like the battery drain so much, but uh, I think it worked. It's a little windy over here. It's really cool. Mauritius has a bunch of different viewpoints just like that on the side of the roads. Like it is stunning. This place is like unreal. Jimmy, it was a pleasure. Me Thank too. Pleasure meeting you and hopefully see you next time. Next time. <laughs> Cheers. The VIP service from the bonfire ground team here in Mauritius continues even when you arrive at the hotel. We had somebody waiting for us with a cart, taking our luggages around. Now we're in the repacking section because we need to change and I think our luggage is a little bit overweight. But yeah, amazing service. What a great little anniversary trip this was. It was amazing. It was super fun and it was one of our first ever worry-free trip. Because normally yeah. we do everything on our own. Get the taxis, get gets everything, right? Where the, from the moment we land, we landed, somebody came, took yep. care of us, 
the entire time we had Jimmy yeah. driving us to every places. He was always even, on time. It was like, oh, worry free. I even had his number in case I had questions about things yeah. or wanted to go somewhere when he wasn't yeah. originally and scheduled. That's the kind of trip you get when you use our friends at Bonfire Adventure. <laughs> and one thing you don't have to worry about is they already have negotiated the best prices for these hotels so that way you don't have to. Yeah. Um, if you're wondering about budgets and that type of thing, you can also pay in installments, which is fantastic. Yeah, that's a very Most good option. Time, and they yeah. also have like, you know, different options depending on your budget as well. Yeah. So I'm going to put all their information down in the description. Make sure yeah. to contact them for your next trip to Mauritius Let or to know. any any other destination or Let in Kenya or whatever. Let them know that you saw it from us. Yeah, That'd of course. Great. Let them know we sent you. And if you want, ask them for the Manny special if yeah. you if you want to go to Mauritius as well. So right now, we're going back to Kenya. Yeah. Next, excuse me, MM. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the intercom. Um, we are on our way back to Kenya. We have a lot planned within the next few weeks. So see you guys. In the next one. <laughs>